two medical stories suggest you can hurt yourself trying to improve your health. An FDA panel voted Wednesday to tighten regulation of testosterone supplements. So-called low-T medications are a multi-billion dollar industry. The advisors say testosterone should not be prescribed for men to treat normal signs of aging and may even pose some health risks. Meanwhile, there's a new study that finds artificial sweeteners could put users at risk for diabetes. Our Dr. David Agus is in Los Angeles. Doctor, good morning. All right, there's artificial sweeteners in yogurt. There's artificial sweeteners in your Diet Coke. And a lot of people like us put it in our, our tea. What does this study find? Well, you know, artificial sweeteners were developed so we could have it all, retain our sweet tooth and make it happy, and at the same time, maybe not get all the calories associated with sugar. And what this study showed is that if you take it on a regular basis, first in mice and then in humans, it actually makes it much harder to control your sugar, which is equivalent to diabetes. But what's really profound about this study and taught me a lot is that it's not doing so by a regular mechanism. It's changing the bacteria yep. in our GI tract. So if you take bacteria from someone who has fed artificial sweeteners, a human, and put it in a mouse, that mouse will develop diabetes. Really amazing observation. So the results are a big surprise to the medical community? You know, I think the mechanism is a major surprise. and really teaches us that our body has tenfold more bacteria in our body than we do human cells in our body. And they're such an important part of us. And it also tells us that these simple ways to satisfy our cravings in the end may cause problems and we need to pay attention. I know I'm stopping and telling my family to stop taking these artificial sweeteners now. I say stop. I can't get over the aftertaste of artificial sweeteners. I still feel that, but okay. Mm -hmm. Which leads us, Dr. Agus, to our other big story here. Uh, the FDA panel had this message to men about low T mm -hmm. therapy. What are they saying? You know, again, this was a, a really amazing observation of the last 10 to 15 years is that testosterone therapy was developed for people who had pituitary problems, who made no T, no testosterone. And then, over the last decade, people started to use it for all the problems of aging. There were 2.3 million people using it last year. And what the FDA said is there is no data it affects the problems of aging. And so, but there are major side effects. It can affect blood clots. It can affect the heart, potentially. And so those are real concerns here with no positive benefit. So, so bottom line, Dr. Agus, because I know whenever I watch golf or football or any sporting event, every single commercial seems to be about low T. Well, bottom line is that marketing worked, is that it got millions of people to start taking this supplement or this medication with no benefit. So bottom line is if you don't have a pituitary problem, you probably shouldn't be on this and talk to your physician about it. And I think we all have to learn that these quick fixes, whether it be an artificial sweetener, whether it be testosterone, they all have ramifications and we need to think it through. Yeah, quick fixes very seldom work. Thank you, Dr. Agus. Always good to see you.